OS X natively supports multiple desktops. They call it Spaces. You can access it from Applications, Utilities, and then selecting Spaces. You will then get four desktops up. Here you can switch between them and you can even drag windows across them. By clicking your desktop, it will take you onto that desktop. By holding Control and using the arrow keys, you can navigate through the pages. But how do I get this effect on Windows? Because Windows does not natively support this feature. In this tutorial, I will be taking you through how to get features like this for Windows. Two main options you have for this. The first is Cube Desktop. You can download a free 14 day trial. However, you will have to buy the full version for just under $20. You'll simply just need to download it and install. And then if you go down to your system tray, you will have these one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you have six available desktops by default. By clicking the cube, right clicking the cube, you will get 3D cube, window exposer, and a bunch of other settings. By clicking 3D cube, or F11 as a shortcut, it will take you into a 3D cube which you can spin around and view your live desktops. However, if you do not have a great graphics card, this will not work as you can see here. However, you still can use the numbers in your tray icon here. You can change settings, so for each different desktop you can have different photos and different pictures. And there is a lot you can do within the software. You can define virtual desktops, you can define different names, you can enable on-screen display, you can change the tray icons, different features, and you can arrange different transitions between the desktops, you can have a desktop wall, and you can even password protect some desktops. So there is a lot you can do in here, and I would be here all day if I was to go through all the settings. The second piece of software is completely free. It is called Virtual Dimension. All links will be in the description below. You will just have to click download and you can then download and install it for free. This basically does the same job, but it is much more minimal and basic. It will run a little system tray icon here, so it will run a process and it will not slow down your computer. By right clicking it you get desk 1, desk 2 and desk 3 as they are the ones I have created. And as you see here we've got home, desk 2 and desk 3. As you see on home it's got a little internet explorer logo because that's what we have got open. By right clicking you can click configure and it will take you into the settings. Pretty similar to before, you've got all display settings, on-screen display settings, and more advanced settings for the advanced user. But the basic thing is adding desktops. So I can click insert and I will get desk 4. I can then click configure and I can give it a name. So I could call this one Facebook if I was to run Facebook on this desktop. And as you see here now, I have home, one, two, three, Facebook. So this is a very useful tool if you are on a small screen with a low resolution or you are on a netbook or you generally just have a lot of pro processes and programs open. In my opinion, the paid one is obviously the best and please stay tuned for a rev review of that. But for a more minimal basic machine, I really do suggest Virtual Dimension. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe for more. Also, head over to theworldoftech.net for the latest news and reviews.